Hey folks, this is I always am back with some more World uh, of Minecraft. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Totally. <laughs> so we're back with some more stone block. Uh, I haven't actually changed anything since the last time you guys were here. I got to kind of make this episode quickly. So I just started looking through and went, mm, yes, we can do that quest. So, um, it's not, why am I here? I right click. There we go. We're gonna go for the inscriber, which, if you look, it's the first step on the way to getting an ME drive. And since we already have a bunch of these, and actually some other components, um, why not, right? So, um, first thing we're gonna need is some sticky pistons. Let's go ahead and make some pistons, because I actually totally remember the recipe for pistons right off the bat without. Looking it up at all. Um, this goes there. Yeah, look at that. Two sticky pistons. That goes there. This goes here. This goes here. And then there we go. We have an inscriber. Uh, this is going to need power. Let's go ahead and quest complete. As we go ahead and claim the loot. Um, I am going to put everything back, though. That we do not need, because I don't like any random stuff in my inventory. There we go. Um, going to tag this on the other side, and it will get power. Yeah, it gets power from the survival generator. Which is slowly going to power itself back up. And so now we can put things in here and in here, and it'll give us what we need. But that's a little bit down the ways. Um, just making it is good. However, in the process of making it, I had to chop down a tree. And in the process of chopping down a tree, I broke my axe. So, where's my part chest? I need, oh, sorry, I need my, yeah. Why isn't this? Available from here. I'm pretty sure that's how I set it up. It is. So why isn't it accessing it? I don't know. It doesn't seem to be. That's great. You know, you know, it's amazing when that happens. Um, we need some gold. Sure, this will be enough. Um. And there's some stone. There we go. Let me melt the gold. What is this? Anyway? Molten obsidian. Huh. I wonder what that was for. I don't remember. So we'll just go ahead and put that in there. Put the gold back. Um. You know what? Let's make an obsidian axe because it's already in the mix, right? Why not? Um, grab myself some wood. I think that's probably what it's going to take. And then need a binder of some kind. Do, 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 do. do I see anything fun and interesting that would work well as a binder? Not really, no. <laughs> hmm. I guess we can just go with a wooden one. Okay, so go ahead. Back to my parts chest. My pattern chest, sorry. Grab this. And, oh, I don't have a regular tool rod. Interesting. Weird, but interesting. I'll throw that in there. And then, and then put them all back. Except for, of course, the one I forgot to re-grab. Normally, this works a lot smoother. For some reason, it's not cooperating today. I don't know why. I'm going to pour the molten gold out on the stone axe head. Let it harden. And then we're just going to immediately pour in the obsidian. 
And then, let's see. No, there's only three blocks left. We got this hardened as well. And then we're gonna walk over here and make ourselves an X. There you go. So it's not amazing durability. It's actually really, really not great, but it will do for what I need it to do, which is really just cut down trees. I can go in there for now. Put that back. Um, yeah, cool. Next thing on the list is, of course, it is halfway through the episode, so it is time to open up a chest and see what we get. Actually, let's go stand on the survival generator. That was cool. I did not think that was going to happen. Da, 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 da. What is that? Haste times two. That's not... That's not amazing. <laughs> I could... I would, um... I'd rather the speed two. By a lot, actually. But okay. Sure. We'll, we'll get haste times two. I don't quite know what we're going to do with it, but now we have it, right? Um... Let's see, it was something else I was thinking we should actually go ahead and build. Uh, where was it? Ah, right, the auto sieve. Let's start working towards the auto sieve. Um, first, let's go ahead and search up an auto sieve so we know how to make it because I don't remember the auto hammer. Yes, or make one of those too. But for now, auto sieve. Oh, well, that's not too hard. I can do that fairly easily. Where's the glass? Uh, and then just grab a bunch of this, and then... Uh, I chose to make a sieve, which I don't remember, so I'm just going to grab a bunch of this. Okay, so then... I need two of these. Right, just two of them, not four of them, yep. Need some of this. I need to make a sieve, which of course requires some of this. There we go. Recipe has changed since the last time I did it. Um, in the game before this, in, in factory box, you didn't put this in. It was like that, or something like that. And so, with the the recipe changing it, it's not in my head no more. Uh, does it have to be a full sieve? No, just like that. Right, because we put the mesh in afterwards, and we're not doing that. Oh, you want to see something cool? If you didn't know, you just, yep, hit shift, hit that places all the M's in, and then you can just simply pull the one you need out. Otherwise, uh, if you just... No, oh, I can't do it anymore. Uh -huh. Otherwise, you would sim if you hit this without hitting shift, then it places an image of the items you need in there. So you can place them there yourself. I don't know why. It doesn't make sense to me either. Dun -dun -dun -dun. We have done the auto save. We may claim our reward. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, anyways, um, I'm not going to hook this up to that. I'm going to end up making a, a separate generator somewhere. Um, I'm going to have to actually probably set up over here. So I'll just put that there. Uh, and I'm going to take a, most likely take this generator. Uh, so I might as well just pick it up now. I'll leave the chest there of awesome and goodness, though. Uh, start it here, and then we'll um. We have chests around here somewhere. Um. And of course, we'll go up into this when it fills this up. Um. Then there will be an extractor pipe coming out of here, leading into uh, the auto hammer. 
Just speed down the ways a bit, anyways. Uh, and go run into the auto hammer, which we're gonna make in a second. Actually, we're gonna make next episode because I don't have time anymore. And then it'll go from that to this, and then it will come out the other side. And eventually, we'll end up. I'll uh, I'll train a bunch of them together eventually, and this will be our entire system for getting materials. And then if I do really sophisticated stuff, I'll pipe it to the backs of all of these. And then we will have um, items that automatically drop into the correct um, correct drawers. And so whenever we need something, we just go to the correct drawer and pull it as many as we need. But that won't be happening today because we're at the end of this episode. So I'm going to go ahead and throw everything back in the drawers that came in. And then we're going to go ahead and fire this last loot chest from on top of the auto sieve. And we're going to call it an episode. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching, everybody. And this is what we get at the end of the episode. We get Overclocker. I've never seen those before. I like it. I don't know what it will do, but I like it. So, yeah, I'll see you all there as I always throw out.